The moon belongs to everyone. The best things in life are free. Where is the button? Woo! Welcome back to a new tutorial. Today it's actually Sub's Choice. You know, a Sub's Choice where one of you guys will come here and we shoot together and you bring something, but there's no one here. But I got a product sent to me from Martin, my friend Martin in. And he sent me this, it's a cosmetic can. I think it was like this. He was shooting this for a client and uh, uh, it was beautiful, everything was fine, but he said it was very challenging product to shoot. So he wanted to have my take on it, how I would tackle this. So let's see what we can come up with. I want to show how I would shoot this. Today I will show you when you're shooting on a white background, you know, you're putting up a white paper, you put the product, and then you shoot it. This is very, very, it's a very big market actually. Companies will always need this uh, for the catalog and online and everything. I want to show you a bit some tricks, some mind, <laughs> mind blowing tricks, because you need to keep uh, the production cost down. And if you only have one flash, we will only use one flash. So how to start? Maybe with some coffee. Like I said, it's a very high demand on these kind of pictures for catalogs online. And, you know, they need to show the products in a very clear uh, way. When you're doing this mass production of these kind of photos, you need to keep it simple. Keep the production very smooth, you need to do fast, simple, but still you need to get nice result. When you're shooting, for instance, something, you know, if you throw in a banana and shoot it, it's matte. You just put light from the top, you press, you know, a well-trained monkey can, can do this work. Um, but when suddenly comes a client, hey, shoot this. Yeah, no problem. And then you put it in front of your camera. Suddenly it looks like this. The reason why it looks like this is because uh, it reflects everything in the room. So, what to do? First, I would like to put on a, a grid so the light will not spread that much in the room. Now we go a bit darker in here, maybe. So, now we, see, we can take another shot to see if there is any difference. Yes, a bit darker, so we can, uh, we don't need to have this aperture. I put it down to F13, maybe, maybe F11. There we have the product. And it's still kind of ugly. What to do next? Well, I want to show you, if I take my coffee, I place the coffee maybe there, and take a shot, and you see immediately the the top and well the whole product the whole uh, can is actually reflecting the coffee it's actually a bit nice a bit yellow there with this i want to show you that this product reflects everything in this space i mean from over there and all the way to this side it will reflect absolutely everything so if I take away this coffee and you see there is a black area, this black area, from there to there. This is inside this uh, can, I think. This is uh, it's the background that goes through. And, um, and this is also reflecting from uh, the background. And this black area over here, why is it why is it dark? Well, that's because over here there is no light coming from the front. So that means 
that it will be dark. It will be black, because there's nothing here. This light from the top, it, ref it hits also on the background there, and that, and that will reflect back on the sides, on the, the top there. So, what can we do? Normally, I think many photographers, well, maybe they have like three, four or five lights and uh, they will put one like diffuse, diffusion material on this side, diffusion on this side, and then they will have like some kind of uh, softbox uh, and make uh, a nice gradient. Uh, this is what I often see and in the center like we have now it's very wide black because we have nothing here no light and no ref no white to reflect so it would be a very wide black strip in the middle it's actually almost the whole product because we have no light there's a bit of reflections and also the coffee right now so what to do if we don't have like three flashes to put in if you only have this one what to do then i have a trick the mind-blowing trick okay are you ready are you ready the white balance is <laughs> this is a gradient that i printed out my printer is not that good so it's a bit magenta uh, but it doesn't really matter because the product is like pink so it will probably work anyway but you can print out a gradient like this. It goes from so bright to dark. And I have actually hit two of them. This one goes from dark down to bright. And this one goes from bright to black. Instead of this two extra flashes and uh, diffusion material and trying to make a nice gradient, we will only use these two guys. We we'll just place them on the sides. And what did I tell you before? Everything that is placed close to the product, like the coffee, will reflect into the product. I will attach one on this side. And the other one on the other side. Yes, you see the product a bit there in there, yes? So, like you see on this, it looks like pink-ish, but it should be black and white. You can best thing is if you have a good printer you can print it out in black and white or you can send it to a lab aha you see you see what these two guys will do can okay, make it a bit bigger you see these two guys they reflect the dark uh, it's back there and it will go on here you have to place it quite far because uh, you want it to reflect all the way and then the gradient from dark to bright and it goes to bright and we have this black strip in the middle because the paper ends here so this area there's no light here so that will be black and that will be represented by this black strip in the middle and you often let's let's take a and let's take a shot it's a bit high the one to the right I see but do you get the idea um, yes this is a gap here and immediately this part is will be a gap there and uh, but you see this nice gradients from dark to bright and this is the paper that reflects in in the in, in the top here and also the whole product actually the product is made like this so it's um, I think this is transparent on the sides maybe we should lower this one a bit so it will look a bit more the same if you do this you print them then you should um, glue them on a on like a, a board some kind of more stiff material so they will be straight so you have more control another shot yes now it looks better you see it goes all the way when it's down and this is a bit crooked but it's fine it looks okay mind-blowing right two pieces of paper on the sides and then you will get this 
super cool gradient. The reason why it often looks like this on the shots, they often look like this, maybe not this good, but something like this, and you have this strip. Often the strip is quite, it's a bit smaller, but I wanted to, this R for this logo, I wanted to keep that black. It's a bit, it should be turned a tiny bit to the left, but I wanted to keep that size of the strip to show that logo there. The reason why there is a black strip in the center, well, it's very clear. That's where you are. That's where the camera is set. So it's impossible to get light there. Almost impossible. Depends, you can lower it down and then you can... But normally you shoot straight on and then you need to have a black space in front. This is the camera and it stands out in the dark here. There's no, there's no uh, light here. So it's uh, hidden in the, in the black strip, in the dark. You get what I mean? I would like to try another thing because uh, the name of the product, it's a bit tricky because it's like three dimensional. There is a print inside. What you could do if you go up with the camera and shoot, maybe I can take this off and show you. I would do something, probably something like, like this. You see, I would do something like this. I want to test the final thing before we end this. What will happen if I turn them around? Now I switched one of them. This on the left side, I put the black in front and the bright at the back. Let's take a shot and see how this will look. Yes, because I want to, I was thinking, maybe we should do the totally opposite. Instead of have this, uh, to have this black strip, maybe we should use the gradient the opposite way. It's like bright from the back and then it goes to dark, because if it's dark, I think the name will show up better because it's bright. Let's change to the other one. Shoot! Yeah. I kind of like this, you know, now it's bright back and goes to dark. And that means we have a bit of reflections here. I don't know where they come from, but this, I love this style. Still, we have a problem with this text in the back, but there's not much we can do about that because it's this design, but bright to dark and the center is dark. I like this. I like this. I like this style. We have a bit of reflection there in the center there where it should be dark. I think uh, it's, uh, it, will come, it comes from the lens reflecting into the product. So it should probably make like you have to take a big black um, card and make a small hole. Only the lens will show and then there will be just a tiny bit to retouch in Photoshop. But this, I really like this one. So nice with this gradient going from bright from the, from the back and dark. And then the logo will pop out a bit because it's the contrast, the, the bright and behind it's dark. Yes. I don't know, which one do you like best? The first one or this one? This is it for this time. And uh, Martin, uh, this was your sub's choice. Uh, you're here, you're not here, but you're, you're here in spirit. And uh, I hope you can take some tips from this to make the product look nice. Um, and all the other guys, I hope you also can take something, some tips and tricks. This uh, cheating with the, the, the printed uh, gradients, you know. Soon we will have, there will be a, a, another sub's choice with, uh, there will be a guest appearance from a guy who's already been here and he will bring a very nice product. Actually, I have it behind me here. I don't know if I'm allowed to show this, Matthias. Maybe, maybe I can do like this. Uh, 
Ooh. <laughs> okay, soon we will shoot that thing. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I have not forgot about the giveaway, the 5K cup giveaway. Jesus Christ. I just need to, yeah, I need to, I need to fix that. And uh, now it's soon, I don't know, is it 7,000 or? It's so nice that you are watching. It's very, very fun. And uh, as always, just if you have something to ask, just put it in the comments and uh, please subscribe. If you're not subscribing, hit the bell so you get notification when there's a new video coming out. There will be, there will be new videos. And as always, see you next time.